Hi everyone! If you're excited about 2016 and can't wait for January, it looks like the Sultan of Johor can't wait either. I'm sure you all know about His Majesty's order for all vape shops to shut down and for vaping to be banned in the state of Johor. For those of you who don't already know, Sultan Ibrahim Sultan Iskandar wants all vape shops to close by the 1st of January 2016 and he does not want to hear any excuses as it is a question of health. Nothing to do with business or race. Well, now he's bringing things forward with a notice that prohibits all the officers and staff in the Johor Palace from vaping in the palace compound. Well, sorry Johor, it looks like your vaping days may be over faster than you think. Yesterday's bill that proposed greater power for the National Security Council has Padang Sarai MP N. Surendran seeing red. The bill that was proposed by the Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Shahidan Kasim, will allow for the Council to declare security areas where reasonable force may be used on those who are deemed a threat. Surendran states that this bill is a grave concern to all Malaysians and that this bill will indirectly give the Prime Minister arbitrary, extensive and dangerous new powers. Surendran says that there appears to be no precedent for this in Malaysia's legislative history and that it is unacceptable under our democratic system that the Prime Minister be given such powers. So what is in this bill that would grant so much power? Let's take a look. Even though security areas can be declared for up to six months, they can be extended indefinitely by the Prime Minister both in terms of time and size, since there will be no limit on how big the security areas can be. That would mean the whole of Malaysia can be declared a security area. Aside from that, the power granted to the Director of Operations in the Council will allow him or her to evacuate people from their homes and resettle them, imposing curfews, the power to arrest, search and seize, which includes entering and searching homes and perhaps confiscating your vape if you're in Johor, is also part of the deal. Under Clause 30 of the bill, anyone authorised by the Director or the Director himself will be granted the power to take temporary possession of land and buildings, which includes homes and, if necessary, by force. Finally, what really takes the cake is the Council will have legal immunity over errors committed while on duty. A three-member federal court bench has dismissed the latest appeal by widow of private investigator P. Balasubramaniam and three others to reinstate the 1.9 million ringgit suit against Prime Minister Najib Razak, his wife Rosma Mansor and five others. The plaintiff Santa Selvi has been ordered by the court to pay 10,000 ringgit as cost to Najib and Rosma, along with 10,000 ringgit to each of the other five defendants. About a year ago, on the 11th of December 2014, the Kuala Lumpur High Court struck out the same suit without hearing. AMNO Deputy President Muhyiddin Yassin likens his post in AMNO to being a stump as he is not allowed to speak at the upcoming AMNO General Assembly this month. After being told that he is not allowed to speak at the opening of the individual Wanita, Putri and Youth AGMs, he has now been informed that he is not allowed to be involved in the winding up sessions either. The former Deputy Prime Minister also lamented that even other delegates were allowed to speak out but not himself, despite being the second highest ranking member in the party. However, despite the restrictions imposed on him, he will still be attending the AMNO AGM. In fact, he has thrown his support behind the nine branch leaders who will be facing the AMNO Disciplinary Committee this afternoon, following their vocal dissatisfaction with Prime Minister Najib Razak. Jadi saya jadi tunggu saja, duduk di atas pentas. Orang lain boleh bercakap, timbalan presiden tak boleh bercakap. And that's a wrap for today's fact sheet. Now the bill to grant more powers to the National Security Council is still fresh and under scrutiny, but what do you think about it? If you picked up on something we missed, or you want to add your two cents, there's a comment section below just for that. Before you go, please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Daniel Anthony, thanks for watching.